Hello and welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the review, it really helps if you buy the books using the links in the description down below, either in book or audiobook form. Thank you very, very much for joining. I hope you enjoy Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. Chosen Quotes History followed different courses for different peoples because of differences among people's environments, not because of biological differences among peoples themselves. With the rise of chiefdoms around 7,500 years ago, people had to learn, for the first time in history, how to encounter strangers regularly without attempting to kill them. My two main conclusions are that technology develops cumulatively, rather than in isolated heroic acts, and that it finds most of its uses after it has been invented, rather than being invented to meet a foreseen need. The author. Jared Diamond is an American scientist, academic, and author. He is a professor of geography at the University of California, Los Angeles, and is best known for his popular science books, including Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies, 1997, which won the Pulitzer Prize. He has also written several other books on human history, prehistory, and evolution, such as Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed, 2005, and The World Until Yesterday, What Can We Learn from Traditional Societies, 2012, Diamond's works are notable for their combination of scientific research, historical analysis, and storytelling. He is also a frequent public speaker and has been invited to give lectures and talks all around the world. He has been recognized with numerous awards and honors for his contributions to science, education, and the public understanding of science. The book. Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fate of Human Societies, is a 1997 book by Jared Diamond that attempts to explain why some human societies develop much more quickly and advanced than others. Diamond argues that the key factors in this disparity were the availability of certain domesticable plants and animals, the development of agriculture, and the presence of certain diseases. He also discusses the role of geography and climate in shaping human societies and how technological innovations, such as guns and steel, allowed some societies to conquer others. The book is a comprehensive examination of the reasons why some civilizations developed while others did not. Diamond begins by discussing the differences in development between different societies around the world, such as the contrast between the modern, industrialized societies of Europe and North America and the relatively underdeveloped societies of Africa and the Americas prior to European contact. He then delves into the reasons why these disparities exist, arguing that the primary factors were the availability of domesticable plants and animals, the development of agriculture, and the presence of certain diseases. Diamond argues that societies with access to a large number of domesticable plants and animals were able to develop agriculture much more quickly, which in turn led to the development of larger and more complex societies. Additionally, societies that had developed immunity to certain diseases, such as smallpox and measles, were able to survive and thrive, while those without immunity were devastated by these diseases. In addition to these factors, Diamond also discusses the role of geography and climate in shaping human societies. He argues that the geographical position of a society, such as its proximity to other societies and to waterways, had a significant impact on its development. Similarly, the climate of a society, such as its temperature and rainfall patterns, also had a significant impact on its ability to develop agriculture and support a large population. Finally, Diamond discusses the role of technological innovations in shaping human societies. He argues that the development of guns and steel allowed some societies to conquer others, which in turn led to the spread of certain technologies and ideas. This, in turn, led to the development of even more advanced societies, which were able to conquer even more societies. Overall, Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fate of Human Societies, is a comprehensive examination of the reasons why some civilizations developed while others did not. Through a detailed examination of the factors that led to the development of human societies around the world, 
Diamond provides a new perspective on the causes of human history. He presents a compelling argument that the key factors in the development of human societies were the availability of certain domesticable plants and animals, the development of agriculture, and the presence of certain diseases. Additionally, he illustrates how geography and climate, as well as technological innovations such as guns and steel, played a critical role in shaping human history. What is it really about? The underlying truth provided by guns, germs, and steel, the fates of human societies, is that the development and success of human societies is shaped by a complex interplay of factors such as the availability of certain domesticable plants and animals, the development of agriculture, the presence of certain diseases, geography, climate, and technological innovations. Diamond argues that these factors, rather than inherent racial or cultural differences, are the primary drivers of the disparities in development that have existed between different human societies throughout history. He also suggests that the success of a society is not predetermined and can change over time based on how it responds to environmental and technological challenges. Finally, the book also emphasizes that the history of human societies is not a linear progression towards a final and predetermined outcome, but a complex dynamic process shaped by the interactions between societies and their environment. Overall, the underlying truth provided by the book is that the development of human societies is shaped by a complex interplay of factors and that the history of human societies is a complex dynamic process rather than a linear progression towards a final predetermined outcome. Score. Is it easy to read? The difficulty level of guns, germs, and steel, the fates of human societies, can vary depending on the reader's background knowledge and interest in the subject matter. However, in general, I would rate the book as a three out of five in terms of readability. The book is written in a narrative style, which makes it easy to follow and understand. Diamond uses real-world examples and historical case studies to illustrate his points, which makes the material more engaging and accessible. He also does a good job of breaking down complex concepts and ideas into manageable chunks of information. In summary, it is a well-written and engaging book that is accessible to a wide range of readers. However, it does cover a wide range of topics and can be dense with information at times so it might require some effort and time to read it fully. Is it fun to read? The level of enjoyment one might get from reading guns, germs, and steel, the fates of human societies can vary depending on the reader's interests and background knowledge. However, in general, I would rate the book as a three out of five in terms of being a fun read. In summary, guns, germs, and steel, the fates of human societies is a well-written an engaging book that presents a lot of interesting historical case studies and real-world examples, which might make it an enjoyable read for some readers who are interested in the subject matter. However, it is not a light read, so some readers might find it less fun to read. Is it relevant? Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies is a highly relevant book that is still widely read and discussed today. I would rate it as a five out of five in terms of relevance. Overall, Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies, in addition, the book's central argument that the development and success of human societies is shaped by a complex interplay of factors, such as the availability of certain domesticable plants and animals, the development of agriculture, the presence of certain diseases, geography, climate, and technological innovations, is still widely accepted by scholars and has been influential in shaping the way we think about the subject. Do I recommend it? I would highly recommend Guns, Germs, and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies to anyone interested in history, anthropology, sociology, and other related fields. It is a comprehensive and detailed examination of the factors that led to the development of human societies around the world, and it provides a new perspective on the causes of human history Thank you again for joining. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again.